if you go on. No, hold on. I'm before you go, I know, I know what you're going to say. You positive you want to use Deuteronomy 18 because I'm going to warn you before you do. You positive. Wait. Deuteronomy 18, yeah. 18. 18. Stick with yeah. one at a time. Don't get nervous. Breathe. We're not going to be okay. jumping all over. You mentioned Deuteronomy 18, 18, right? Yes. Okay. You positive you want to use the book of Deuteronomy because I'm going to use Deuteronomy to prove that Muhammad is the son of the devil. You ready? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Go to Deuteronomy 14, verse 1. You have your Bible? Yeah. Okay, open up to Deuteronomy 14, verse 1. Now, you use Deuteronomy 18 to prove Muhammad. Good. Go to Deuteronomy 14, verse 1. You are the children of the Lord, your God. Do not cut yourselves or share the front of your heads for the dead. For the dead. Okay, Israel is what? You, you, you are the children of the Lord, your God. So they're the children of the Lord God, right? Yes. Okay, now go to Deuteronomy 32, verse 6. Is this the way you repay the Lord, you, you foolish and unwise people? Is he not your father and creator who made you and formed you? So he is their father who made them, right? Yeah. Okay, now read Deuteronomy 32, 18 to 20. You deserted the rock who fathered you. You forgot the God who gave you birth. Okay, now, before you even move on, God who fathered them, who gave them birth, begot them. They are the sons of God. Go to Surah Al-Maida, chapter 5 of the Quran, verse 18. Surah Al-Maida, chapter 5, verse 18. But the Jews and the Christians say, we are the children of Allah and his beloved. Say, then why does he punish you for your sins? Rather, you are human beings from among those he has created. He, he forgives whom he wills and he punishes whom he wills. And to Allah belongs the dominion of the heavens and the earth. And whatever is between them, okay. him is the final destination. Okay. The, the Deuteronomy that you quoted states, God is a father to Israel. He gave birth to them spiritually, not physically, not sexually. They are his sons and daughters. But your God, Allah, told the Jews, you are not my sons and the Christians are not my sons. Then how can Muhammad be like Moses when he contradicts what Moses said about God being a father? Is Allah your father? No, no, no. So Say it again. Say it again. Is no. Allah your father? No. And you said stuck for Allah, right? Yeah. You just proved that Durami proves that your prophet is the devil because the God of Moses is a father to Israel. When I said, is Allah your father, is stuck for Allah, no. So why are you quoting Deuteronomy, which destroys your Quran and deletes your Quran? Because I believe that not all of Deuteronomy was changed. Yet I don't Quran care was. what you believe. You quoted it, right? You don't choose the parts you like. You're not God. You're not a prophet. I don't care what you believe. You quoted Deuteronomy. You're stuck with it. Now go to Surah Al-Baqarah, chapter 2. Surah Al-Baqarah, chapter 2, read 230. And if he has divorced her, then she is not lawful to him afterward until she marries a husband other than him. And if the latter husband divorces her or dies, there is no blame on the woman and her former husband for returning to each other. If they think that they can keep within the limits of Allah. Did you hear what chapter 2, verse 230, 230 says in your Quran? Yes. It says, when a man, yes. you divorce a woman... And she wants to return to you, or you want to return to her to you, you want to return to her, you can until she marries someone else and that someone else divorces her, right? Yes. And that person, if I divorce a woman and I'm a Muslim and she marries someone and he divorces her, that person made her halal for me, lawful for me. He's known as Muhallil, right? Yeah. Okay, I want everyone to understand because a lot of people don't understand the Quran. In chapter two, verse 230, it says, if a man divorces a woman. He cannot take her back unless she marries someone and that someone either dies or divorces her. Okay? Now, go to Deuteronomy 24, verses 1 okay. of 4. Deuteronomy 24, verses 1 of 4. If a man marries a woman who becomes displeasing to him because he finds something slowly to watch her, slowly. and he writes her a, certif a certificate of divorce, gives it to her and sends her from his house. And if after she leaves his house and becomes the wife of another man and her second husband dislikes her and writes her a certificate of divorce, gives it to her and sends her from his house or if he dies, then her husband who, who divorced her is not allowed to marry again and she has been defiled. That will be detestable in the eyes of the Lord. Do okay. not bring sin upon the land the Lord your God is giving you. Yeah, you inheritance. keep reading too fast for some reason. I don't know why I have to repeat myself slowly, but that's okay. You got it. Deuteronomy 24 verse 1 of 4 says, if a man divorces a woman and she, she remarries, okay, stop flipping the pages. I know you got notes from your websites. Listen, Deuteronomy 24, if a man divorces a woman and she remarries and that second husband divorces her or dies, the first man cannot take her back. That's disgusting, detestable to God. So let me ask you a question. Why did your prophet and his God command something that the God of Moses says is disgusting and despicable and detestable? Well, it's like 
it's two different it's two different books the Quran and the but you quoted books. Deuteronomy like they're not going to agree on the same things no but you Even quoted Deuteronomy Mustafa you're not getting it you quoted Deuteronomy to prove Muhammad is prophesied that is very Deuteronomy says Muhammad's teaching is disgusting detestable to the true God of Moses and Muhammad is disgusting and the true God of Moses would damn him to hell so why'd you quote Deuteronomy it's it's like I said before not all of Deuteronomy was is changed no changed. I'm sorry that doesn't work Mustafa you don't decide which parts of Deuteronomy you like and which you reject you quote it you're stuck with it so stop quoting Deuteronomy because we're going to delete your Quran and bury Muhammad when you do